Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 84. We are on our third club. And we are playing as West Brom. Anyway, uh, kind of kind of taking it easy today, and I apologize. I think yesterday was the first uh, upload day I've missed in uh, over a year. Uh, spent the afternoon in the emergency room, and I'm having uh, pretty bad chest pains. Not sure what's causing it. They didn't find anything, so it's not heart-related or anything. So that's good news, but still some some pain and it, it does give me some tightness when i breathe but uh so kind of taking it easy but you know definitely down here in the quiet morning hours trying to get some recording done today uh catching up here after our 3-1 loss last time we ended up beating uh panathalankos i think that's pretty close to being right danny olmo and brendan taylor scored goals uh, so we beat uh, we beat them in the third qualifying round. Uh, we lost one nil to Leicester. Uh, we actually was this the one I forget. Hello. Uh, yeah, we got outshot nineteen to six. They outpossessed us. Um, it wasn't a bad game. You know, one nothing was fair. Uh, the penalty. Eh. You know, <laughs> I think you're always against the penalties when they're against you. But uh, anyway, a 1-0 loss there. So we start off oh, oh, uh, two losses in the Premier League. Uh, FC Cob Copenhagen, uh, we beat 4-0 in the first leg. Matt Ingram, Morgan Harris, Isa Chukwuma, and Stuart Coleman with goals. Newcastle, we finally get our first Premier League win, 5-2. Chukwuma, Olmo, new uh, striker Tommaso Franchet. Francis Chini got a brace, and Eric Garcia got a goal. And then in the second leg, we drew, so we advanced uh, on aggregate there, five to one, uh, and a goal from uh, Fr Franachini there as well. Uh, we stunned Tottenham, uh, probably FM'd them. We played a very, very good game. Uh, we beat, and they were top of the table. Dale Sinclair got a goal. And then we just beat Everton 3-1, to one. Chick Wooma with a hat trick. That was great uh, to see him light it up. So today we're back for our Europa League Group G stage. And so we drew Hertha, Rapid Wine, Rapid Wine and Kilmarnock. Uh, so Germany, Austria, and Scotland. Yeah, that's right. Scotland. Love the Scottish accent, man. So cool. Um Oh, let's see. Looks like my wife woke up. Uh, no, I can't. I'm recording. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, Hertha and then uh, Bristol City. Uh, we'll be playing them at the Hawthorns. I figured that would you know we would skip the Chelsea match. We're not expected to win that. That's the EFL Cup. Uh, but Europa League, something new for us this year qualifying. So I wanted to get a couple of those games and yeah i think that's it all right so let's get into it uh let's see if we want to take a quick look at the squad so uh franachini has six in ten chikuma has six in ten as well six starts four off the bench danny almost got four and claren malone has uh three uh he's unregistered is he on he's on loan at cardiff I want to filter out uh, ch -ch -ch. filter out the guys that are unavailable. Wow, that puts us down to a small squad, does it not? Wire. Oh, these guys are unregistered for uh, cup action. That's right. Okay, well, let's get to it. Let's see here. I really do like these kits. Those are pretty cool looking. All right, so we are underdogs on the road so i think we're going to stay with this tactic this is turned into my underdog or on the road tactic and uh, then the, the 442 flat midfield is uh the one i'm playing when we are favored 
warming up. Hand over to the assistant. So we're in the it says the black kits. Okay. Two early shots, heavy possession advantage. That's good. Danny Olmo with an early yellow card. Oh no! Giuseppe Malone puts in his first goal of the season right into the corner of the goal. Good finish. Some good ball movement on their part. That could be bad for us. Dale Sinclair's picked up a yellow. Come on, boys. I think we can lose to these guys but we need to win against the other two clubs. Psycho? Nice. Oh, slide tackle missed. Uh, Malone probably should have put that one in the net. Caputo plays it out to Garcia. Oh, he lumps it. There's a run. Chikwuma, one touch. Oh, empty netter. Heavy touch by the keeper. Chikwuma, right place, right time to get the rebound. Put in a second shot into the net. Garcia just lumped that one. If we can get a 1-1 draw, I think that would be great. Uh, excellent efforts. Avoid booking. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. I hit the wrong thing. Ah, uh, that's not good. Stay down there, you. Come on, boys. Oh, wow. Proper highlight? Um, for them, possibly. Oh, look at that first touch. Oh, and he, oh, he dinked the keeper. I thought that was our highlight, and they turned it into their highlight. Come on, fellas. Oh, poor pass. Danny Olmo. Crossed in. Second touch, knocked away by the keeper. Uh, they called it out of bounds. That's going to be a goal kick. Uh, let's give... Uh, Let's give some praise. Do a long range shot, goes high. Kenny Hunt picks up a yellow. Oh, good save by Caputo to get down there. Garcia, back to Caputo. Back out to Garcia. Played up to Niambi. Lots of space. Crossed in. Oh, almost sails it. Coleman. Garcia. Finds Olmo. Up to Francini. Back out to Olmo. Making a little run. Crossed in. Headed out. Ingram. Second attempt. That's our second goal, just like that, where the keeper flopped it after a nice save and puts the rebound in. Yes. Come on, boys. I will definitely take a 2-1 win. <laughs> Chikwuma. Uh, Olmo. Olmo's not playing well. All right, let's take him out. Mid-left. Um... I don't have anybody that can play mid-left, do I? I have attacking mid-left. Well, you know what? Let's let's put him in there. I can do that. He can play. I mean, mid-left, attacking mid-left, when you're on attack, isn't it kind of the same thing? 
I'm going to go with that. Uh, Glenn Craddock. 16 dribbling, 10 first touch. Let's bring Bosdag on for Chikwuma. Get the get a couple of yellows off the field there. Give him some praise. Well, Esteban picks up his first yellow of the season. Come on, boys. All right, I went past 80. You got if you pay attention. Normally, you know I do a 60-minute double switch, and then an 80th minute. That's kind of my rule of thumb. Uh, but went 85, so we could do this more as a time waster. Heading, marking, tackling, right back, crossing. Uh, let's, yeah, let's put him in for Niambi. Kind of solidify up the uh, back line with some fresh legs. Might be his debut. I don't remember him playing before. Have it recorded in a few days. Oh, nice save. May It may have gone over. Oh. A well-deserved win. Two to one. 19 to 18. A lot of shots. Eight to 15 on target combined. Four clear-cut chances for us, five total to one. Take that all day long. That's a huge win. Excellent efforts. Well, I screwed up on that halftime team talk with uh, Danny Olmo. 666 thousand dollars. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Tuati made his debut. Cool. All right, well, we'll be back for Bristol City in just a second, guys. Before we get to the second match, one thing I forgot to mention in the interlude of games since the last video, we uh, have gotten an email about a possible takeover. So there's been a few updates just that the takeover was, you know, was still in place and it was still, they were still in talks. So this one just popped up. Uh, reports are coming in. There's been a breakthrough in the takeover talks. Uh, current owner, Lai Gushwan, and the head of the takeover bid, Kiernan Bradbury, are going well. And there could be an announcement in the next few days. So, um... Playing with smaller teams like I normally do, you don't usually see any of these massive takeover bids. And when you, you know, the, the takeover bids are usually by a local businessman. You, you're you lucky if you get $10,000 put into the side. So we're sitting on $115 million. Uh, oh, by the way, today's match will be, this match coming up will be my 500th uh, game as coach at Bra as manager at Bradbury. So I forget where we took over. We, we were pretty low when we took over, weren't we? We were way back here. So yeah, you know, a couple of, you know, a couple of seventh place finishes and now some prize money. Uh, we're, we're not doing too badly. Uh, you know, we are down, uh, what, $200,000 right now, but you know, it could be worse. Anyway, wanted to let you know about the takeover opportunity. Uh, I like the, these kits aren't bad, but, you know, I, so I'm not big in stripes. All right, so we are slight favorites. Bristol City was newly promoted this year. We do have a breezy day. So because this is the one I've been kind of going with as I, I just like, I find... I find that the two striker setup works a lot better than a one striker setup. I just haven't had much luck with that. It is what it is. Um, not that it can't be successful, but uh, very similarly that in FM 18, the 4-3-3 was, you know, very, a very dominant tactic. You know, any variation of the 4-3-3. So, All 
All right, Danny Olmo into the box. Oh, Olmo. Nice. Ooh, don't do that. Can't get too excited. <laughs> Fifth goal of the season for Olmo. Again, they, they didn't find anything wrong. Uh, my heart's fine. Not, no blood clots in the lungs. Nothing like that. This is all stuff they checked for. They did blood work. They did x-rays. They did a CT scan of my chest. Uh, just, uh, you know, just right now the doctor doesn't, you know, didn't appear to be worried. I did get checked out a year ago by uh, a penalty. Danny Olmo's going to line up to take it. Looking for his second goal. He steps up, man's up. I'm thinking bottom right corner. Well, right down the middle and almost cut the goalkeeper in half, it looked like. So that's a nice little brace on the day. Sixth goal on the season. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, being in your 50s, you're supposed to start seeing all these extra doctors. Another, oh, my God. Oh, hello. Oh, that was so close. That, that's one of the closest VARs I've ever seen. Ah, well. Um, so my cardiologist visit was about a year ago, just over a year ago. Man, it was perfect. You know, he said there was nothing to worry about. And uh, come back, you know, in about a year. So we're due, I'm due back for a follow-up there anyway. Uh, Garcia controls it up to Ingram. Counterattacks on. Ingram holds it up, plays it into Franashini, plays it through. Oh, Olmo! Oh, I thought he was going to charge the keeper when it fluffed around there in the box. Oh, could have had a first half hat trick. That would have been nice. Come on, boys. This is right now. We're sitting up in fourth position. Gotta like that after an you know a two loss start. Four straight wins in the league. Very nice. 15 to 5 on shots. Uh, three chances to zero. 10% possession advantage. Looking good, fellas. Looking good. No yellow cards. That's that's nice. Come on, boys. Plus five goal differential, too. That's odd, so we're actually kind of right in the mix. Chelsea down in eighth. Liverpool in tenth. Wow. I'm pretty sure, let me know what you guys think, but I'm pretty sure this will be our last club uh, in this save. And then I will figure out what I want to do. Uh, I would like to come back and read and try that director of football challenge again. Um, possibly. We'll see. Um, but, uh, well, Caputo. But let me know. And, you know, like I said, I don't think we're anywhere extremely close to finishing this because I'd like to crack the top six. I'd like to get to Champions League. Oh, look at Matt Ingram jumping in there. Nice ball, boys. Good hustle, Ingram. Matty Ingram. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to get into Champions League. And then, you know, if we get to Champions League, say, two, maybe three seasons in a row where we're consistently performing at that level. Oh, danger. Oh, I thought Capu. Oh, and look who it is. Ramadan Sobi. That's the guy that we tr we uh, transferred to them uh, last year, I believe. Uh, let's see, Sobi. Yeah, I think we transferred him last year for twenty one million. Uh, yeah, seven goals in eighteen starts for them in the league. That was good. They were in the championship last year, got promoted up. So he helped them get promoted. He's back in the Premier. Do I need a table? I don't think so. All right, where are we at here? 
Oh, I missed uh, I missed a little time there trying to answer my wife and be a good husband. Uh, Sebastian Strodel. Niambi. Let's bring on uh, Perry. And then uh, Coleman. We can give you a rest for Ocoli. Ocoli. Is that... My eyes are not very good, guys, uh, especially with my diet. I have diabetes, so my blood sugar, <laughs> when my blood sugar goes up or down, it changes my vision. So I'm like, I can't tell if that's an I or a double L. Looks like a coal. We'll go with that. It could probably be wrong. And uh, Dale Sinclair for Glenn Craddock. We'll make a triple sub. 10 minutes left in the game. It was time for that third sub anyway. Oh, there was a nice run by Ramadan. Oh. Oh, my God. Um, shit. Yes. Shouts. Concentrate. Uh, tactics. Out of possession, standard. Yeah, we're not doing anything different. Come on, fellas. Perry, Garcia, Ingram. Nice ball up to Perry on the overlap. There's a ball in. Well, watch the counter. Young cuts it inside to Ramadan. Oh, good interception by Strobel. Franashini, Chikwuma. Good first touch. Oh, he tried to dink the keeper, didn't he? Oh, that would have been a nice clincher. Lumped out. Played down into the corner, Garcia. Nice ball up to Franchini. Craddock. Stolen away by Perslow. All right, we forced him back to the midline. That's good. Come on, blow the freaking whistle. Oh, please don't tie it up. Lumped over. Oh, nerves. Uh, oof, Caputo comes out. There it is. We hold on. Boy, we almost got FM'd in that one, didn't we? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what happened in the second half, but it was unacceptable. And they liked that, except for that one guy. Vintage display. A tactical genius. Yeah. Uh, Matt Ingram, one appearance away from 50, which will trigger a $3.2 million clause. Danny Olmo, eight shots on target, two goals. And Boz, looking at Coleman, Harris, and Chikwuma. Oh, so Boz is the one that got the, uh, the England job. So he's from Holland. Oh yeah, he's pretty good. A uh, pretty good manager, isn't he? Except for motivating. Um, a little flat there, huh? Uh, so yeah, he's the English coach uh, national team. So you may remember a few episodes back, uh, I actually got uh, offered the England job, but didn't take it. Uh, let's see. So where are we? We are fourth in the table. Twelve points plus four goal differential. Giving up those two goals hurt. That would have that would have helped us out, kept us up with Man United as it is now. We're in this second group with Tottenham and Leicester. Uh, let's see, Villa, yeah. Norwich. Ugh. Don't like either one of those clubs. Um, Liverpool just you know I mean they're only they're only four points off the top six you know so. It's not not like they're in dire straits, but 
you would figure Liverpool fans would be getting a little nervous right now. All right, where do we come back? Well, I think let's come back for hmm, I'm thinking we're going to come back for uh, d -d 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 Wolves and Kilmernock. I know that's a ways off. Yeah, that might be too far. That might be too far. Tell you what, let's come back for... Let's come back for Chelsea, Rapid Wine, and then we'll come back after that for Wolves and Kilmernock. And that'll see... We'll see a couple of more Europa Leagues, which I think is important. And, and you know, we've already seen Hertha. And that way we see the other two clubs in, in uh, Europa. And then that also sees us finish group stage and see if we get promoted out of that. So that'll that's that's my goal for the next two episodes. So again, we'll come back for Chelsea, Rapid Wine, and then Wolves and Kilmernock. Um, let me know how you think things are going. I think things are going excellent. Um, who are you guys enjoying watching? Just you know anything you want to talk about in the comments. Appreciate it very much. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.